Thank you for booking your stay with us at Scullerfold Caravan Park. To help protect you and our staff by maintaining social distancing, we've put together this introductory video to show you around your glamping unit. Please take the time to watch, and if you have any questions, please contact reception, we'll be happy to help. Welcome to Scale with Fold. As you enter our park, you will drive onto our red road. Follow this up to the barrier, which will automatically open for you as you get closer. Continue on this road until you get to our shop and reception, which will be on your left hand side. Please park here and go and check in at the reception desk. A member of staff will then take you to your hideaway. Please note, there is a sharp right hand turn and you may need to do a three point turn. Parking is available at the back of your hideaway. As you walk to the front, you'll notice there is outside space for you to relax in whilst you stay. Steps leading up to the front door have LED lights in them. This is for your safety and will be on at all times. The front door will be locked, so please use the key given to you by reception to open. To lock the door, shut the door to, lift the handle and turn the key. If you wish for the door to be propped open, simply open the door and push into the catch. The light switch for the kitchen are just above the kettle and next to it is the light switch for the outside light. The fridge contains one bottle of Prosecco, two bottles of water and four milk sachets. Also, there is a small freezer cabinet at the top. On the kitchen surface are champagne glasses, the cutlery, washing utensils, the toaster and complimentary teas and coffees. Also is the guest information book. This contains all the information that you need for Scalwith Fold along with the number for the warden. This number is for out of hours use and for emergencies only. Underneath the grill is the bin and next to the fridge is the sink draining board and this simply just fits over the sink. To use the microwave refer to the guest book for instructions. The surrounding cupboards contain the crockery and under the sink are the pots and pans and the complimentary disposable barbecue. Before using the hob, the glass guard must be lifted. If it's not lifted fully, the hob will not work. To ignite the hob, push and turn the dial you want to use to the left while pushing the ignition button. When you're finished, simply turn the dial to the right which is the off position. To use the grill, you must first open the door, extend the heat guard. The handle for the tray can be found with the utensils. To ignite the grill, push and turn the dial to the left whilst pressing ignition button. But this time, leave the dial pushed in for a few seconds after ignition and then release. Moving to the bathroom. The bathroom light is just outside the bathroom door. The shower head can be adjusted for different power settings. The heated towel rail is next to the sink, but please be aware as this can get hot. If you wish to switch it off, the button is to the bottom right. A spare toilet roll can be found in the cupboard underneath the sink. In the cupboard, to the right of the bed, you will find a clothes rail and two cushions for the outdoor furniture. On an evening, please bring these cushions back in to prevent them from getting damp. Also in the cupboard is an electric box, which you may need in case the electric trips. If this occurs, let reception know, or if it's out of hours, call the duty warden. At the bottom of the cupboard is a heater. The top button is for the cool or hot air. Press the top button left for heating or right for cool air. The centre is the off position. The two switches below 
control the speed and the temperature of the fan. To open the windows, push the black button in, turn the handles towards each other and push the window open. If going out, please close the windows securely. In the cupboard, to the left of the bed, is the boiler and a dustpan and brush. Please do not touch the boiler. If there are any issues, direct them immediately to reception or if it is out of hours, to the warden. Next to the TV, you will find three remotes. The JVC controller just turns the TV on. The FreeSat controller changes the channels and the Samsung controller is used for the DVD player. All information can be found in the guest information book. Underneath the TV is a cupboard and in here, you will find the hairdryer. When you arrive, your bed will already be made for you. To make the bed, first remove the blue and brown cushions. Secure the pillow and the foot of the bed by using the straps. Hold the handle at the foot of the bed and lift up. The bed will lock firmly into place revealing the settee underneath. Place the cushions onto the settee. Underneath the settee is a fold-out table. Push the release catch on either side and pull the legs out. And mind your shin. We recommend you place the cushion in the gap behind the bed. This will help prevent the pillows from slipping during the night. But remember to remove the cushions before you lift the bed. Around the corner from your balcony is our gazebo where you can use your disposable barbecue. Just place it into the metal holder. Once you have finished, leave the barbecue in the gazebo and one of our wardens will collect this for safe disposal. If you require any further barbecues or supplies, please go and visit our on-site shop. Please be mindful to leave this barbecue area tidy for other hideaway guests to enjoy. Please do not use your disposable barbecue on the hideaway balcony, as it will cause damage. On the day of your departure, we kindly ask you to do a few things to help us stay alert and protect our staff during the coronavirus pandemic. First, strip all the beds and place the linen in the yellow bag that has been provided. You can leave the mattress and the pillow protectors on as a member of staff will collect and wash these at a later time. Second, place used towels in the second yellow bag. When all laundry items are collected, tie the handles together and leave on the decking. Thank you for booking your stay at Skelwithold Caravan Park. We hope you enjoyed your stay with us and we hope to see you again soon.